hey guys welcome to another video of creative designs and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create advanced lightning effects in Photoshop so let's get started so I have an image here and on this image I'll show you how to put on some advanced lightning effects so first of all I'll rename this layer as background now Let's take a hue and saturation layer to decrease the saturation of this image or you can say in decrease the uh, color from the background. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this looks better. Now I'll create a new layer by clicking this icon below create new layer and I'll take it above above the hue saturation layer now I'll select a brush uh, you can set the opacity to 50 and flow 100 is good First of all, I'll select a color from the panel. Okay. Now I'll select a color which might look good for this image because this image is kind of a magical thing, stuff and all. So this color looks good for this image. I'll just click OK and first I'll apply in the middle of this magical sphere like this and I'll set the blend mode to mul not multiply I'll first check what looks better for this Okay, in this situation, screen mode looks better than the others. So I'll set it to screen. Now, to make it look more shinier and brighter, I'll create a new layer over here and apply the same color on this layer. But this time, I'll increase the opacity to 80% and decrease the size of the brush no. still not good I'll keep it to 500 yeah and set the screen mode I mean set the layer to screen mode okay till here it looks good okay so before that uh, I'll give a layer of curve to decrease the lightness of the background as you know we are creating a lightning effect uh, image so we have to uh, decrease the brightness of the background so the light uh, may look good in front so I'll select the curves and then I'll drag this from the below to make it a bit darker not very much but at least the lights look good in front 
and you can drag as much as you can or as you like or it depends on your image as well so in my opinion this looks good till now so here it's still not very bright in the center because the light comes in the center first so we have to create more bright uh, in the center so I'll select the layer one and even I'll select or I'll just switch the color from pink to white and apply it in the middle yeah so at least there's a uh, shining in the center of this sphere magical sphere now mm, I'll create a new layer and fill the layer with black you can select this from the panel and just click all and backspace okay now go to filter render lens flare you can see a flare over here but I'll check 105 mm prime this is better and I'll decrease the brightness not very much but to bring it on in center yeah I'll click OK and I'll change the mode of this layer to screen and boom this looks uh, more brightness I mean this create a more brightness color or light in the center of the sphere which makes it look more good so let's go further and create more shining around the sphere so we'll create create a new layer and then we'll switch the same color switch to the same color and we'll increase the size of the brush as I've also mentioned the shortcut to increase the size or decrease the size of brush in my previous video you can just click sh control you can press control alt and if you're using mouse then just right click on the mouse and drag right to increase and drag left to decrease and if you want to change the opacity you can same uh, you can do the same procedure just uh, press control all and right click and drag up to decrease uh, the opacity I mean the hardness and uh, drag down to increase the hardness so I'll just keep the hardness right here to 0% and I'll change the opacity <coughs> to 50 depends how much lightning should be given over here if it not it's not looking good you can you have to change the opacity or decrease the opacity it depends on the situation so I'll apply this color over here and don't forget to change the screen I mean blend mode to screen yes it's creating a more brightness brightness around the sphere around the center of this sphere and but it's not looking very brighter in the center so I'll uh, as I said before you you might have to change the opacity later on so I'll bring the opacity to 80 or you can directly just now let's apply oh yeah this is the result I was expecting and it's kind of looking better from before so uh, let's create a new layer again and increase the size of the brush by pressing ctrl alt right click of the mouse and drag it to right to increase the 
uh, size of the brush and uh, this time I might have to change the opacity of the layer and boom, just change the screen I mean just the blend mode of the layer to screen yep yes you can see the progress uh, if, if I'll just you know uh, 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 of the visibility of layers you can see the progress of this image from this to this 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 and this it's getting more and more better than before so I need a one final touch for the uh, uh, around this sphere and I'll increase the size of the brush uh, set it to screen mode and not very uh, much brighter but at least it must look like that that uh, the sphere lightning is reflecting the ground somewhat like that so I'll set it to 50 and just one click over here in the center yes this is the result now I was expecting from this layer and it's looking very good but still there must be some touches over here to uh, make the lightning more attractive and more I mean believable so uh, I'll uh, make a new layer over here and I'll select the brush and I'll set the opacity to 100 flow uh, can be 100 as well and just uh, switch to white color and one click over here but not very much bigger size I'll show you what to do now one click over here and I'll uh, select the selection tool and uh, control plus T to transform this layer and uh, yes and I'll increase its width and decrease the height and I'll keep this below or you can also keep this in the center but it must be believable so I'll keep, uh, keep this in the below of the spear now just create a new layer again and now before creating the final effect I would like to give some more brightness in the middle so just I'll select the brush and opacity will be 100% and flow will be 100% and selecting the white color I'll just click it twice but with different size of the brush yes so there is a better glow over here also you can if you want to reduce the uh, the uh, uh, I mean you want to increase the whiteness of this image so you can create a new layer above this one and just increase the size of this brush and uh, uh, bring the opacity to 70 and just click once to uh, give it a perfect glow over here now this is looking much better than before now so uh, I've, as you know we have created a, a, a lens flare over here before you can see this layer over here I'll just undo that and I'll duplicate this layer and bring it the layer above all the layer and I'll just drag it down below the sphere to make the make it more brighter and shinier ok 
Okay. So it looks like looks like that uh, uh, base of this sphere is creating the light, and uh, it the, the light is flowing in the center. Then the center is giving the light out from the sphere. Okay. And then still this looks not very uh, satisfying or believable so uh, we'll just create a new layer and set the screen mode I mean set the blend mode to screen and then select the brush tool and I'll change the brush to particle brush and with the same white color okay sorry I selected the uh, stand tool and select the brush decrease the size of the brush first I'll apply this in the center as you can see here that uh, it's creating kind of particles in the center and you can create these particles in variations around the circle as well not too much uh, brighter or too much in the uh, quantity but at least to make it uh, in a, uh, to bring it in a mode of magical as we have seen in the movies and all also you can see change the direction of the brush to give it some variations I'll apply some over here decrease the size here increase the size here change the direction and increase the size here, Let's increase the size, change the direction, and here, so you can see, particles is making it look more better, and if you want to decrease the opacity of the layer, you can also decrease the opacity of the layer to check whether it's not it's uh, looking better or not so in my case I like to keep it keep the opacity to 100% so this is it for this tutorial and this was the how to create a lightning advanced lighting effect in Photoshop using some layers with brush tool and lightning flares lens flares and decrease the saturation and decrease the darkness i mean decrease the brightness of the image to create more brighter uh, front in the front so this was the final result so guys if you like this video i mean if you like this tutorial then please give us a like give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel to create more amazing tutorials like this one and also you can recommend these videos to your friends and also you can share it on social medias and just subscribe and recommend our channel to others as well so this uh, that's it for today's tutorial thank you for watching our video see you in the next video